and this lesson we're going to finish working on 2D shapes and we're going to look at tessellations in this video and basically a tessellation is a pattern of shapes that fit together without overlapping or leaving any gaps and if they leave any gaps or the overlap then it could mean you've had two things that you've done it wrong and there's another way of doing it, fitting them together or that simply they just can't be done because some shapes won't be able to be done they won't tessellate, it's as simple as that so let's look at these and see whether these shapes tessellate or not this is the first one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see whether Oh look I've made a box there Notice how I can make boxes of these now remember they said the art the, the not the strong point so these are not drawn to scale at all. They probably actually look quite messy but it explains the idea. And say there's no no overlaps or anything here. And sorry about that, ignore that little square at the bottom, that's one separate shape. From that, from that one, that's those are basically all the same. I don't know, maybe it's to look different lengths them um, in that picture, but they weren't meant to be. Next one. Let's see what we can do with that. Now, look what I can do with this. I can stick them on like that, and then I can. Put another one in, maybe it's like that, coming in that way. So there's lots of different ways you can do this, and there's no gaps that overlap, and so that's it worked pretty well. That one also works, and. This one here has like a trapezium, and we can see how that works. I can do, sometimes there might be more than one way of doing one. I can do that, and then I can put them the other way around like this. I can just keep changing that around. Or there's obviously probably some other ways we can do that one. So. You can save this and the other ways you can just experiment with this as much as you like, I don't care. Now this is a hexagon. Let me see. Not. Now this one we can them all around the side like this to fit together quite nicely and to kind of make another type of shape really and you can just keep fitting them to, to together like that so they don't overlap or anything now before we finish with this let's just give Get an example of a shape that won't work at all, no matter what you do. Let's have a look at a circle. Let's see what happens if we try to do a circle. We've already got two or three gaps there. If we don't want to make any gaps, the only way we can do that 
is to basically make the mover lap so you can clearly see that not all shapes work because a circle is a good example of one that I've just shown you oh you can do it with lots of different shapes as well you can do more than one shape like I'll show you a quick example of that Got something like this and then you could have a triangle another triangle here you could put in some nice equilateral triangles and then you could put another equilateral triangle and then you could put a trapezium here and another trapezium here and then you could put maybe it's like a funny type of um, quadrilateral there <laughs> And then you could probably put like a hexagon here if you like. And then you could put one of them arrow things. And then another one of them arrow things. And then you could put some funny one, two, pentagon type thing there and you can make another sort of strange type thing. And this is a... is basically... um. Also, you've noticed that what happens is you're just fitting things together and there's a few games that are, are kind of made like that as well, like like puzzle games, like you've got a game like Tetris where you've got like a big um, box like this and you've got all oh, lots of different random shapes coming down like that. And what you have to do is you have to try and fit them in without making any gaps or anything so there's lots of games that are made like that as well and then there's like a danger bob here that you can't go above in some games so there's lots of things based on this type of idea and also like design patterns for things also sometimes based on this sort of idea as well